to read that doctrine, that stupid shit that Esau teaches, man. But yeah, man, it was always Israel from the beginning. That's why Yahweh Shah, he didn't come as <laughs> he didn't come as Esau. I mean, that's what y'all think. <laughs> that he was white. He came as an Israelite, dark-skinned man. It even says it is evident. I said he didn't come out as Esau. As, as, as Edomite. I mean, that's, a, that's not a good. He didn't come out as a uh, as a as an Indian because the doctrine is that he was an Edomite. He came out as an Israelite. Yeah, or, 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 yeah, as an Israelite. Who? Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was born and from Mary and Joseph. Yeah, but I'm saying it, it even tells you in Hebrews, it's evident. Oh yeah, yeah. It was yeah. evident, man. <laughs> so yeah. so the, uh, you got all this confusion about about it who, not who came first, who came first or not. Yeah. Or who came first? That's the confusion, because these people that are uh, spreading this false doctrine of Egyptology, uh, saying that the Negroes come from Egypt, that's a false doctrine, man. They weren't the first. I'm gonna show you right here. This is a, uh, Moses telling uh, Pharaoh, uh, Exodus 4 and 22, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. So the Mosai had already chosen a people from the beginning of creation. It was already, it was already there in the works. You know, just because you made, you built yourself a kingdom, and because you came up with all these different uh, doctrines and sorcery, you know, witchcrafts, that you're the, the originator of all things. Scriptures say that Israel is the uh, the uh, 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 the founder. I forget how it says, but the, you got it. Is it the firstborn? Go ahead and get what you got. Okay, because I'll just prove him even more that Romans eight and twenty nine, for whom he did, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. But it's just even proven more, man, that Yahweh shot was first, the, the, the Israel, Israel was first, the firstborn of all things, all right? It's just proven, because, like the brothers say, first of all, who was, uh, who was, who was uh, Pharaoh, or the first Pharaoh, who was he, uh, who was he, who was, who was he uh, consult, consulting with uh, in the time when Israel and the brothers were born? With Joseph. Yep. They were talking to Joseph. Mm. They were talking to the Israelites. The Israel, it, Israel came to Egypt. But Joseph did. Joseph was yeah, put into yeah. slavery and sold to the Egyptians. Yeah. But he became a great man in Egypt. Yep. You know? it, why would it, why would he become such a great man if he wasn't significant? You know, I'm just saying. But then what happened? Pharaoh died, and another one, and, the, and I think the son came yeah. up instead. He another didn't know Pharaoh Joseph. that didn't know Joseph. Yeah. And they uh, the, the, treated the, he treated the Israelites it. like shit. Yeah. Because after that, Israel, the, the brother, uh, like uh, all, all those other other brothers, they had died off. They they had died. And so it just basically became the the, uh, the, the fortune, the, 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 the offspring. Yeah, the offspring of Israel. That's all it became. So history was already dying away, and that's why y'all people want to think that Egypt was first, just because they had the pyramids. Another you used Israelites to build those pyramids. Israel built that, built your uh, your kingdom. So you want to say that e Egypt is the originator of all things? You had Israelites building the place. Yeah, they're the ones. You, you you probably made a blueprint, but they're the ones that knew how to make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and 17. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. No, man, so that just proves it, man. He's a, for, he's a former, he's a former, he's a former of all, former of all things. Yeah, man, so there you go. If you learned something, if you learned anything in this world today, it's because Israel had, had already taught it. Israel already is, is the one that had it. Yep. Even yeah. to this very day, all these all the rights that in the Constitution, it, it's in the Bible, man. We have the right to speak. You know, we can spread, we can speak truth. You know, and now nowadays truth is uh, rejected. It's now they try to say that oh you're fear mongering and da 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 whatever else.
to deceive people. Oh, you know, back then they could carry their swords. You know, now we can, you know. I mean, we still, they give us the right to bear arms, but it has to be in a manner where it's put away. We can't walk around with it on our, you know, strap. But, you know. Right now, scripture here is really about all the Buddhist knowledge and everything that you people hold. Talking about Africans, mainly, we already, we've already gone over, man. Those people are bugged out, man. You, they, they even put up as a spectrum. Like, for example, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Jackass. Wild, wild Boys. There you go. Where Steve-O and Chris Pontius, they were traveling the world. But uh, they went to Africa, man, and they showed you one of the men that was a tribe leader of Africa, whatever, and he was bugged out. He was slapping the sand and shit. You know, he was making doo-doo baby, he was drinking piss. Those people go, they, 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 they consult and they do abominable shit, man. That's Disgusting. Awesome. Yeah, man, they're dirty. They're filthy, man. And they still do it to this day, man. You, you go to their land, they don't have houses. They, 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 they build them up in the trees, out of sticks. They don't have resources. They're, and they're, they're, they're really based. And then they're already destroyed because they had their time with Egypt, but then their offspring, Nebuchadnezzar, these men, they, they did a lot of a lot of stuff, and then they and then they're trying to have their doctrine, uh, Egyptology uh, rise back up. That's why they're destroyed. So that's where Constantine, Constantine the Great incorporated paganism worship in here, man. Now these Africans think, you know, they take part in this, or you know, they try to discredit. It. Now they're saying, it, you know, they're, they're uh, like like we're saying that the Egyptology, comedic is the way, you know, which is a bunch of bullshit. It's not. I got a. Uh, Genesis chapter 9 verse 25 and he said cursed be Canaan a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren and he said blessed be the Lord of God of Shem and Canaan shall be a servant so you, you've been cursed from the from the beginning man you saw that you, you looked upon your, your father's nakedness and immediately you're you're made a curse you know like the brothers making mention of everything else you do drinking piss fucking eating shit which is, you know all these fucking animals over there in Africa, still in the, in the sticks. You know? I have, you know, I, I, I have to bring this out because it just shows how, how stupid y'all are, man. How y'all class, how y'all classify yourselves. They have a, uh, they have this ritual thing for the men that they build like a hundred foot tower out of sticks, and these men gotta climb, and they tie their, they tie these men by the ankles on a rope or whatever they make it out of. But these men have to jump down head first. And if they make it, if their head doesn't reach the, 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 the ground and they're able to come back up, that man becomes the head of a tribe. And they give the women to him. But I mean, I'm just saying, man, like, y'all are, are stupid, man. Like, these men, I'm just saying the reason y'all are so destroyed because of the things that y'all did in the past time, man. Y'all did a, believe it or not, uh, Africans, man, they did a lot to Israel and they did a lot to the earth. Did a lot of being proud to the most high back then, man. That's why they are in the condition they are now. Yeah, the Philistines in the time of the, the, the reign of the, the, the Philistines, they they even knew that uh, when they took the Ark of the Covenant from Israel, or even when they, when they, started, they heard uh, Israel chanting and rejoicing, they knew that the Mosai had entered in, had entered in, and they they got scared. They knew that the Mosai, Allah Shadia, dwelt with the uh, of with is the Israelite people. The Hebrews, and they they try to they try to find a way to take the Ark of the Covenant, because they thought by taking it that they were going to gain strength and power. But it, they it turned reversed, it backfired. They, got, they started being destroyed. They were cursed. You see? But now you're trying to find a way with your deception, like we're saying. These there's a bunch of sorcerers, man, witches out here, man. And you got to beware of men. I got this scripture in uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not done so with any other nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hey. That's why his brothers on the highways and their Bible, no matter what you, you, you your other camps say, we're still praising the Lord because y'all don't got the truth, man. We ain't gonna waste our time if, if, if one of these motherfuckers come up, we ain't gonna waste our time with you. We don't ever deal with people who, we, we, we try to bear with y'all for a little bit, but we're, we're not gonna sit here and argue and argue with you. We're gonna eventually just tell you to get out of here, man. You no? Know? We ain't gonna deal with you. We 
because the most high man calls you. He says it in Ezra, 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 and he says it in Isaiah, man, that you people, you are the nations, man. You are, you are nothing to him. You're kind of less than nothing. You're spittle. You're a drop in the bucket to him. That's how the most high looks at you Africans, Egyptologists. That's why he that's why he made your doctrine. That's why he made the doctrine of Egyptology and all these other doctrines uh nothing, man. Or as ridiculous as Yeah, they're just like the brothers said, they're just stumbling blocks, man. Yeah, there you go. They're stumbling right. blocks for your other two thirds to not come into this way. But at the same time, we're still we're still uh we're the scriptures say uh, uh casting down strongholds, man. Anything that rises up against the knowledge of the Most High, because you're trying to discredit this gospel. That us brothers on the hall in the byways that are speaking, man. In the name of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. Y'all trying to discredit us, trying to defame us, trying to uh, demonize us. We don't care, man. Do it all you. That, you're just further, like the brothers say, you're further fulfilling prophecy. Because the Lord said that we're going to be hated in the world for his, for his name's sake. You Africans ain't calling on his name. What name y'all calling on? Y'all believe in fucking uh, those. Uh, Egypt, Egyptian guys, Ra and uh, who else? Cyrus. Cyrus and o Osiris. You know? Uh, Horus. No. No? That's why the Mosai warned the Israelites when he took them out not to follow the ways of you Egyptians because y'all are a bunch of fucking demons, man. And, it, and these scriptures, man, we don't care if you don't want to believe them. You know what I'm saying? All y'all people, like the brothers are always saying, all y'all people want to do is try to uh, be over the elders. That it's just like somebody that that's a good fight, like in the boxing world. You know, he's boxing and everybody wants a shot at him. And he, that man, that man that wants a shot at that good boxer is like, man, you know what? At least I I I, I chanced it. You want to know that you're the one of the ones that had the chance to fight against that great fight. That's all y'all are doing. That's all y'all are like. You know. Dude's like, oh man, like I, I don't know if you ever watched that video with Alazar a few weeks ago when they had that whole thing over him. Yeah, he, I was watching. Well, they, he, I cannot believe it. I laughed, I laughed out loud when you said this. He, he was quoting Luke 19 and 62, uh, where it said, any man who dip his hand into the plow, he said, he said, he's like, he's like, bro, my nigga, I reached into the plow, but I didn't take nothing out. I, did, I didn't put my hand fully in the plow. I, did, I decided I didn't want to do it. I'm just like, he was saying it like, I cannot believe he's, he's like, I didn't poke my hand into it. He goes, I reached into it, but I, did, I brought it back out. So I didn't come into your doctrine. He was, uh, that's not talking about them. It's talking about if you even try to tr touch the truth at all, you even direct yourself in that way. You heard, you heard, you heard a calling. Yeah, man. You, you heard, heard a calling. Get that one. With a chapter two, your own truth. This is a... Uh, that's like being lukewarm, man. You know? That's that sower and it's the, uh, the parable of the uh, sower with the seed. Go ahead. First John 2 and 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there are many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. They went out from us, but they were not of us. Go ahead. For if, it, for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. And you're saying they fight me. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. You have an unction from the Holy One, a calling. You know, that's what the word unction means, is to, to be called out. You got a job to do. You know? I have not written unto you because you know not the truth. Truth. But because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. And no lie is of the truth. That's why the Mosai, Mosai is t warning you people that add and take away from the scriptures. Try to discredit or blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Or not even that, even if you step up against the uh, men of the Lord. If you despise he, if you despise him that sent him. How does it get that one? Get it in Luke Come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you're going to be held accountable, man. Uh, being an elder, all the way down to the least of the brothers and the elect, you're going to be held accountable. You can't be trying to rise up against the men of the Lord. And if you do, you have a judgment. And if, you, if you're in the wrong and you come to the acknowledgement, you got to repent and ask that brother for forgiveness. Uh, Luke 19 and 
Luke 10 and 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. Right, so you, you hate you hate us, man. So you you despise Yahweh Shai. You hate Yahweh Shai. You're an enemy. You've made yourself a, a, a target. You're marked. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. Uh, he therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Gave us the only, his Holy Spirit. We had an unction, okay? We have an unction to come out here and do this work, all right? Not to uh, be fighting fighting against one of another, one, one of another. That's not the way the Most High said it to be, you know? And those that come out, that draw out themselves under the title of GMS, what do they end up doing? Going against what they, they're the ones that gave us the truth, that gave us and, 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 and shine light upon us. Yes, we, we us brothers, we get us, we, every brother gets a, a revelation and can shine light to the elders or, you know, so forth. We're all a body, you know? We all learn through experience, but not to go out, not, not to, to, to uh, fight against the body. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing, you know? And you can tell me, and a lot of these brothers, man, who are coming in, you can, if you're, if you're listening to somebody and you're not sure, you can tell, man, like we told this, this one guy that came by a few weeks ago, uh, you can tell him, you can tell by, like the scripture say, you can tell the truth by his fruit, man. And like you tell these men that come against the elders, they start speaking a, a way that they didn't used to speak. They, they were, they were, you can tell their speech is not humble anymore. They're speaking, and that guy, Like he was trying to speak like a gangster or something. He was, and, and, and he was calling, he was trying to call out Elder Tahar, man. And there was a lot of, I, if you saw the videos of the brothers he was calling, or making remarks about, man, he didn't stop. He was calling out a bunch of brothers. Putting their faces up as, as examples like doofuses, goofies, dorks. I mean, and, and like the brothers, we've been harping on it today, man, about how you're coming against the men. It's just a horrible thing to do, man. Like, yeah, I, it's not a wise thing to do. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. was just, it's better off. The scriptures say a wise man that should keep his mouth, a man, a foolish man that keep his mouth shut is counted wise. Because yep. we're all brutish, we're all foolish men. You know, we're all profitable servants. So it's just better off to be like, you know what, it's none of my business. I'm going to go out and do my own thing. You know, just like that one example where the apostles met up with one man and they're saying, hey, there was somebody casting out uh, demons in, their, in your name. We, we told him to stop. You know, and he was like, you know, he uh, be not against him for he's not against us. You know where it's at? Go ahead and get it that way you can read it. You know, because a brother's not doing what you think is right, or you know, eventually maybe he, the Lord will shine light on him. You know, but he's still in the same cause as you. Not for you to be above him. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. He that is not, he that is not with me, wait, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. Let me read that one up. Okay, he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. But yeah, man, it's, just, it's almost, a, it's like the reverse one that's being said, uh, rever reverse way. If, you, if you're not, because what these men do when they fight against the, the elders or any man or, the, or brother, they. You know, they come in the name of GMS, but they're speaking, they're talking shit about a brother. The, the, what, is, what, is, what is that one? Uh, what is the duty of a whole man? For the most high and obey the man. We're, we're commanded to come out and speak about the truth, not speak about other men. Not even, you don't, we don't come out here and say like, all right, well today's lesson, we're going to talk about Elder Tahar today, what he was doing earlier today. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're strictly speaking, we're, we're, we're literally we're, we're, going we're, we're coming out speaking, yeah. uh, warning our people, man. That was a, a commandment the most I said to do. He didn't say come over here and be uh, speaking about other men's business, business, affairs. No. That's, that's showing respect to the other men. And the, the, the brother Kazak made a video where he, he was like, you know, if, if someone's in the wrong, the Lord will deal with it. Leave it in the Most High's hand. The Most High will take care of it. That's a wise thing to do. That's why us brothers, you hardly ever, ever hear, me and his brothers, we don't ever get involved with them with other brothers deal with outside that camp, outside of our camp. We don't deal with the other stuff the other brothers are dealing with. 
because it's none of our business. You know?